Hey up YouTube, back out again at what is probably one of my favourite summertime marks. In case you haven't guessed from the backdrop, we're on the bench on Bonkers Bank in Cleethorpes. I love this mark, it's a lovely clean beach, generally speaking. Uh, I, sorry, I say generally speaking because I'm just looking at the, at, the, at the waves now on the breakers and there's a lot of weed been washed up, a lot of weed been washed up. It might end up being a one rod night tonight, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out. I'll roll the credits, I'll show you the tide, I'll have a chat about my thoughts. Alf's already out, I'm going to have a cup of tea and I sit down for 10 minutes and, and think of a strategy. I was going to practice off the ground casting tonight, but by the time I'm ready to cast out, I think, to be perfectly honest, the sun's going to be too far down and I want to be able to see what I'm doing. I've never done it before. I know uh, John Levo, um, link to his channel is down in my description. He has very kindly offered um, to show me some casting techniques. It's just getting out to fish with him, really. At the moment, our schedules have, have not aligned and probably won't do until summertime. Uh, I am hoping to get him on this beach. So, John, if you're watching, have a look at the beach, see what you think, and see if you reckon I can get you down here. You can catch everything here from bass to smoothies to taupe, so I'm told, if you can cast far enough, to, uh, to flatties, uh, to cod in winter, so there is still a chance of, of, of landing a cod here, although, to be perfectly honest, I think they're all over in God's country. I'm pointing that way when I should be pointing that way, um, in Yorkshire, on the Yorkshire banks. Can't blame them really, can you? Roll the credits, I'll see you in a sec. As always guys, once night falls, the video will become stoppy starty. Um, I have got some lights with me, but for the time being, it will be stoppy starty. 
Um, Alf's it. Wow, Alf's in already. I hope. I hope he's not snagged. Let's go see him. Let's go see him. Um, the one thing I do need to say. Oh, just lifting you over the bench there. The one thing I do need to say to you today, guys, is I have forgotten to charge my microphones. So we might end up on the um, onboard microphone towards the end of the session. So apologies if the sound quality degrades later into the video. Fingers crossed for Alf. I am seriously fingers crossed for him. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not been having the best of luck recently. Come on, be a fish. Come on. This will be a first if it is. A minute or so into videos and straight in and and straight into a fish. This will be a first. I hope it's not a big ball of weed. There is movement in his tip. There is movement in his tip. It is a fish. It is a fish. What's he got? It's not a flatty. What has he got? Are we opening the account already? Yeah. Holy crap! That's wow. I think uh, I think that's legal size. Yeah. It's got to be a first, guys. A couple of minutes into the video, and we're already into a fish. <laughs> I'm not going to handle it for you. I'll let you have that honour. You're not in shot. I'll get you in shot. There we go. Yay. I mean, Alf is a small man, but that is a big bass. I was, I was going to hang on to get out, but I think I'll get out there, to be honest. I'm going to get this camera put away, and I'm going to get out there. I'll see you in a bit. Well guys, I had a crack off, so I've had that to sort out, and then we just sort of reel it in, and, well, it's good news, makes that crack off worthwhile, let me just get some gloves, because I don't like handling these bad boys without gloves, that gives it away a bit, doesn't it? Alf, can I bullet measure? Do you want a brute measure and weight and scales? Alf's uh, weighing his up. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna D up this one while he. Let me get the, let me get it off the hook, Alf. Because yeah. if it's undersized, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it getting too. Oh, it's just hooked itself. <laughs> it's just hooked itself. It's not as big as that one. But uh, do you want to weigh it to camera? Oh, tell you what though. She is legal, just not legal, Mark. So we'll have that, just to verify. Oh, I've got my gloves on now. This one's a bit more photogenic than yours was. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Fish number one for me. A nice 42, bang on, sort of 42 and a half, 43 centimetre bass. Target species hit on the first cast. And also, on a Wessex rig, you stay there, you. A 
Are you are you are you a white in? Have you got teeth? Yes you are. Are you? Yes you are. Also on a Wessex rig a diddly little white in. I think it's actually smaller than the one I had the other day. Not where it is, but this is going to be great fun to try and unhook this bugger. Because that's per usual. I mean, how it got the hook, I don't know. Come on, out you come. There we go. We've got the hook. We'll go get the whiting back as quick as we can. The bass is going home for dinner. It is legal size, so the bass is going home for dinner. Get this boy back as quick as we can. And it didn't swim off actually for a tiny little whiting. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's righted itself and it's swum off. Happy days. Right, I'm gonna have to shut the camera back off, guys, because I don't have much in the way of charge. What's your weight? If you can't see it in that screen in front, you're not in shot. There we go. We've got 2.2 pound, or is that in kilo? 2.2 pound. Yeah, we'll give it away. There's a carrier bag at the top of there. Yeah. Reset to zero. So, reset to zero. need a sling really don't you yeah. and here we are 1.78 1.78 pound on mine there we go target species hit on the first one we well, must be in a spawning ground <laughs> that's two males yeah. Yeah. yeah this one's at it as well yeah you don't keep forgetting a ring <laughs> Well, it's so infrequent we catch anything of merit. <laughs> but a twofer. A twofer. So I'm, that technically puts me one. I'll, I'll take one and a bit for that little whiting. One and a bit. And those were just taken on straight lug. Those two bass, straight lug. So, happy days, we're in. It looks like we might be in on rod number two. So I had a crack off, so. So we'll get baited up and back out. I'll have to turn the camera off because I'm going to have to preserve power and I need to charge the microphones. So I'll turn it off. We'll time lapse you a bit later on. I have got lights and stuff. So we'll have all that chat later on. I really want to get out. I don't want to miss these fish. I've got one for the dinner table. I'm going to aim for a bigger one now. So I'm going to swap. I might swap this Wessex over to. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to stay on the Wessex. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit.
Check, 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 check. Make sure we're on. Yes, we are. Right. Sorry, just having to move back. Um, I'll move the rods back in a minute. So, tonight's been eventful, to say the least. <sighs> Looks like it might be calming down in the water, at least. Um, Alf lost an absolute monster in the surf, an absolute monster. Um, which one? Yours or mine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to shout down the microphone. The rods just are not stopping. They're just shaking constantly. Leads are holding. Um, in all honesty, I think we've got a mixture of anything, everything and everything out there. Um, I think there's whiting pecking at the baits. I think there's crabs. We know there's weed out there. Um, Alf's in again, by the looks of things. Let's hope, fingers crossed, he lands it. It looks like he's set the up good, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, Alf lost a monster in the surf. I went to strike into another one. And got it quite close in. And then I literally saw a seal come up and just go, nom. Took the fish, my rig, everything. Just bit straight through the lot of it. You literally see it, it's about 10, 15 yards in front of me, not far at all. Um, so yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, Dr. Tommy's gone light. No, 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 no. See, he's... Alf, when you're watching this back, the only thing I'm going to comment on when we're fishing down here is you're lifting and dropping and lifting and dropping, which is all fine, but you're not reeling in fast enough as you're dropping, so you're slacking your line, which was a mistake I've made many times down on this bank. And I will tell you this in a minute, but just as a reminder, I don't know what it is, but the rod that's on the left just seems to zoom round to the left. But the rod that's on the right, the red rod as you can see them, although I don't know if you can see them at the moment, but the red rod stays put, which has, has a really light lead on it. And then the blue rod that's got a seven ounce lead on it, although it has got a three up flapper on it, is flying round to the left but it's uh, the tide's mental the tides are 7 2 we're now still an hour and a half away ish from high tide and we're pushed back and I've just set the camera up literally at the base of the bit at the base of the bench uh, blue rods going I think but uh, I'm going to leave it just a few more minutes so I'm going to have to move the whole lot back and I've literally just sent it out it's got three up flapper on it so hopefully we'll get another more than one you know a, a two bagger or maybe even a three bagger um, the red rod was quivering has stopped so I'm going to bring that in and have a look at it so I'll leave you rolling and I'll bring it in Yeah, we're going to get wet very, very soon. I'm glad I moved back. So, let's bring you in. No, nothing on it. It's coming straight in. Although they always do until they hit the surf. Not on it. Was that you that just went beep? You reckon on what, sorry? You reckon the cod? Well, yeah, but you'll get big bass. But I think we might have crabs, you know. Well, no. Although, I mean, baits ain't munched. 
Bits aren't being munched. It's just with rod tips shaking all the time. There's got to be summer, aren't there? Because it's not tide noise, not that much. No, no. I mean, they are. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes because, I mean, I think we've only got two minutes and then we're going to move back. Because it's here. <laughs> I might have to lift, we might end up lifting the stuff onto the bench. Well, that's what I've done. Oh, you, have you lifted all yours up onto the bench, have you? Yeah. Oh. I've just sent out a three up flapper on that one. Sorry? I've just sent out a three up flapper on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think worm baits seem to be older at day. My big baits weren't getting no interest. I'll go back to them, but I might go back to one ebb. Because yeah. I ain't got the, that worm. I think he gave us loads last time. He's been a bit shy this time. I don't know what your, your package yeah. like, but yeah. mine's a bit shy. I mean, it's probably half a pound, but it's probably just. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you got them last time. You picked them up last time. Yeah, I picked them up, but you ordered them. Did I? Yeah, I did, then I knew you knew you were coming from yeah. I don't know, I don't think he's I don't think I get favourite, I don't think I get preferential treatment. But it just don't it just don't stop checking. And that's got stiff tip on it. I'm gonna have to bring it in anyway to move, so. Well I could just like drag off I suppose. Are you are you in or have you set your drag? It's been non bloody stop, hasn't it? Tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> well, even sun shines out of a dog's ass every once in a while, and uh, bloody hell to it, those two on first casts. I hope it's just not the one and only we see all night. No, kind of wish I'd done uh, bigger ups on me uh, Wessex rigs now. I've only got one of those on everything. What the fuck you bits you send. You knock them out, don't you? Yeah. I oh, know I've never ordered any wraps. I met mine. Oh. <laughs> that blue one just have a, had a good bounce on it. I need a fucking tea break, I tell you. I think it might be weed though. I didn't shoot it far, but it's got a seven ounce on it, but I didn't shoot it far. Because you only want to be in breakers for bass, don't you? You don't want to be open. You don't want to be too far past them. What it? Oh, that was a good one. Come on, hit it again. Come on, hit it again before we get wet feet.
Yeah, there we go. I'll have you. Nah, too early, I think. I can't feel out. Yeah, too early. I don't know, there's a little bit of vibration, might be a little whiting or something on it. Nah. Nothing. Although my, my bait's gone off my top hook. Right, let's get moved back. <sighs> let's get resituated, shall we? Tell you what though, I kind of wish I brought my sand spikes. Ooh. Kind of wish I'd brought my sand spikes. In fact, two baits have gone off that. Off that flapper rig. So we'll get it re, re baited, re shot. Right, we're going to pop you back on time lapse, guys. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, let me once again just check the microphone. Yeah, we've still got power. It's not going to last too much longer, but for now we've still got power to the microphones. I'm not kidding guys when I say these rod tips have not, not stopped dancing all night. Um, but it's just knowing when to hit them. I've just resent them again and it I know some of you are going to be sat there saying it's tide noise, it's tide noise. And yes, a large percentage of it is. But there's just bites constantly. Um, but you lose, the, the one drawback of this mark is you do lose them in the surf. Um, because it, I think it's something to do with the fact that the beach goes from very going again already I've literally just resent that <sighs> it's just waiting and knowing when to hit it that's that's the problem um, and I am missing them because I am bringing in stripped hooks well not stripped but chewed shall we say chewed baits um, 
But I think, as, as evidenced by what came in with that bass, I think there is a lot of pin whiting out there, which I think accounts for a lot of the noise that we're seeing on the rods. Initially, I thought maybe crabs, but the, the hooks are not stripped clean. They're not stripped bare. They're, um, you know, there's, there's, there's bits of bait left on. And you can see that the, the, the worms have been like sucked, they've had the gut sucked out of them or, you know, whatever. So, you know, it's, it's not crabs. The crabs aren't here yet. Uh, but then, it, I mean, if the crabs were here, then you'd be starting to see the smooth hounds. So, I think uh, we're both really happy with the night. I can't, I can't stress that enough. It's been, a, it is a cracking night. We're not even at high tide yet. The one drawback, I suppose, a drawback of this mark, well, the two really. One is the walk. It's not an easy walk, especially not when it's as wet and muddy as it is at the moment back there. The other is the fact that once you're here unless you're willing to get very, very wet, that's it, you're here. You're here until a couple of hours after high tide. You can't go anywhere. I'm gonna to have to strike on that. Well, I'm gonna to have to bring that in. It's, it's rattling like mad. I'll turn you around. See, the problem is now we're in normal vision mode. Let me put some lights under it. I'm not gonna to rush to strike on it, because as I've said a couple of times already, they're, they're not there, or they're letting go. So let's see if we can light these rods up a little better for you. See, it's stopped now. I mean, it could be that the hooks, the fish has hooked itself and is just sat there now. Chances are it's either let it go or it was never firmly hooked in the first place. And if it's not firmly hooked, it ain't gonna stay on, not on this beach. And they're not gonna stay on the hook. If they're not firmly hooked, they're not gonna stay there. Let's see if that's given, shed any more light on the situation for you guys. Not masses. Not masses, but you can see the rod tips. Has it slack lined it? Oh, it has. Yeah, it's slack lined it. Right, in that case, then we will have a look at this. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll tighten it up. I can't feel anything. And it's on a running ledger, so I would be able to. Well, it's on a Wessex rig, which has a running ledger on it. So. We'll bounce it. Bounce it and let it settle again. And I think on the blue on the blue rod, I think there's some weed up line. But it's gone a bit slack, and there's a bit more range on the blue rod. I've just, I what I did have a a, a a three up flapper on it, but it was just getting stripped so quick. The worms were just getting sucked dry so quick that I've I've gone back to a pulley panel with a firmer bait on it, uh, with a fish bait on it which I've not managed to leave out. I've not managed to retrieve a big bait yet tonight. Um, they've either been, one was taken by a seal, the other one cracked off. So. Yeah, anyway, right. Um, let's go back to talking to you guys for a minute. The rods have gone quiet. So yeah, cracking session. There's loads going on to the point where we've both kind of just reeled in and just, we've just had to have 10 minutes. Just have a brew and have 10 minutes because we're just constantly managing as rods. It's like being in a match. Um, it's just non-stop. So, 
But we are, I mean, Bonkers Bank, the witching hour apparently is an hour on the flood, or an hour to flood. Um, that red rod's going again. It could be, actually, it could be the lead bouncing. That's got a light, a lead on it. So it could be the lead bouncing. The sea has picked up just a smidge. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that, uh, that bass out. Uh, I'm going to clean that bass out that I'm taking because uh, I, I forgot to actually bleed it. It's always good to bleed them, but I forgot. So I'm going to give it a clean out. So I'm going to... Um, I'll pop you back on time lapse for a bit. Yeah, I'll pop you back on time lapse. Uh, I might have to show... I'm going to say about shutting this light off just so I can charge this, this microphone just for a bit longer. Um, so if there is no time lapse, it's because I've, I've shut the lamp off and I decided you couldn't see anything. Um, don't forget, if you've made it this far into the video, please do press that subscribe button. Please do press that like button and share the video with your fish-minded friends. It really does help me out. I really do appreciate it. I don't advertise my videos, so it means a lot to me. I would really like to hit that 1,000 mark um, sooner rather than later. Right, I'm going to clean that bass and then I'm going to have a look at the red rod. If there's anything on it, obviously I'll see you, but I will put you back on time lapse if, the, if there's enough light. So I'll see you shortly.
think this might be a place. It's not got bright orange spots, but it's undulation in the back. It doesn't have any ridges on it. It's a nice sized place, or dab. Well, that's it. I'm bingo for live worm. So I'm down to frozen baits. So I'm sending out black and squid at range. Uh, and I've just on the Wessex on the close in, well, shorter range, I've just sent out a bit of bluey and a black on the two hooks. Um, just to see, but live worm does seem to be connoisseur's choice tonight it really does um, every fish I've hit uh, four of them has been live worm and I think Alf will correct me in the comments but I think every fish he had was also a live worm uh, so yeah Not a great deal of anything else to say. It's, it's still a cracking session. None of the fish baits, so the bluey, really, when I'm sending it to range, is not getting touched. Um, I might try a solo whole squid next at range. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I don't know when we're going to call it a night because as with all of the east coast we are now on the ebb and once the tide starts to go out it's it just it's gone it's it really is gone um it, it flies out it really does uh, we're both exhausted we're both exhausted we both had a cracking session of just non-stop action 
there's just been stuff going on and I just wish I mean if this had been on the wall and I'd have been able to light it up for you it had been it had made for a hell of a video um, I just hope when it comes to editing that, that uh, the, all the action on the rod tips and I'm, I've not been striking up majority of it because you've got to wait for a firm take um, but I just hope all the action that's on the rod tips actually shows up we're at a point now where I'm going to be able to now the tide's on the ebb I'm going to move you back out there for the next few time lapses for the what is essentially going to be sort of the wind down of the session just so you can see these rod tips a bit closer up and hopefully um, you know we'll see some more fish the tide is still really really running it's still it's still going ballistic we finally actually I think I just saw it was a big wave so it could have just been wave noise uh, but I think I finally saw some action on the blue rod or a, a, a bit of firm action on the blue rod um, I'm going to let it develop I'm going to sit and have a brew again because it wasn't a, it wasn't a take and it hasn't continued to move thereafter it has got a big bait on there so if it is a pin or, or something small it's not going to be able to take it it's just going to peck at it uh, which is fine there's, there's plenty of bait there for it to peck at and all it's going to do is is, is sort of fluff up and, and sent out in the water so I'm happy with that I'm still overjoyed with the session to come out for target species to, to target a bass and for us both to hit one on his first cast is just phenomenal absolutely phenomenal session and I think it's so rare that you're going to see a fish in the first five, ten, five minutes of the video. Um, that, that, yeah, there's definitely something going on with that rod now. Definitely something going on with that rod now. Something's having a good sniff. So we just need to wait for a firm take. Because that ain't tide noise. That ain't tide noise. But we've proven. You know, between us, we've had bass, codling, flat, I'm going to call it a flounder because I'm pretty sure it was, whiting, four species in one night. So we've proved that they are here and it is, you know, a worthwhile mark. It is a long walk and it is a treacherous walk. I do recommend if you've never been here before, either going with somebody that has been here before or in the very least, make sure you come during daylight. It is treacherous, it is dangerous, the walk back. I'm not gonna mince my words on that, it is. Um, I think, in all honesty, as tired as we might be, I'm very tempted to say to Alf, for the walk back, we might walk down the beach and up the lifeguard road. That's it, road in the loosest possible terms. Um, just because of how muddy and slippy it was walking down here. Um, and I said, I, I was adamant I was coming here early during daylight and I'm glad we did because we did struggle to get down here. The landscape back there has changed, not dramatically, but it's changed enough where the path was hard to spot. Um, and it's been sort of nearly 12 months since I was down here. I don't have the best of memories, so yeah I, honestly guys if you're planning on coming to this mark do it safely and bear in mind and remember that once you're on this mark you must wait at least sort of an hour and a half to two hours after high tide before it's safe to leave uh, because the creek behind you fills up uh, the locals here will tell you you can go shrimping you can go you can even go spearing flatties in the creek behind here and it's only, you know, it's only sort of two metres wide, but it does fill up to sort of a metre deep, and it's very fast running. It's very fast running. And there's lots of hidden cracks and, and overhangs and all sorts that you just don't see in the dark. Um, so please, please do be safe. Okay, so, off my soapbox, lecture's done. I'm gonna, pro I'm gonna point it out there again. My rigs work. Um, I know some people think it's comedic that I tie my own rigs. Some people think that the rigs that I tie are silly. Um, 
Alf's on my rigs, I believe. I might be on his own actually because he's using a one up, one down. Um, but both my Wessex has, has hit, my Pennells has hit, my fancy Pennell, uh, not Pennells, my flappers have hit, my fancy flappers have hit. Um, as of my pulley panels. Hang on a sec guys, what was that Alf? It will be now, we'll be, we'll be going out now. Yeah. But uh, I mean my seven and my five seem to be holding, but my five's not far out. My seven should be, but I've, I've never been able to cast in darkness. I don't know what it is. But I've just had a good hard knock finally on me one at range with a big bait on. I don't think it's still on there, whatever it is. But I was just saying to the YouTubers, and I know it was a shock to you when you first came here, just how fast oh, yeah. the tide goes out. Yeah. And on a spring run, that's it accentuated. So we, we might be looking to pack up and leave in yeah. half hour, 45 minutes. Um, and I don't know how you feel about it. I don't know if you'd feel happier walking back down the beach and trying to go up the lifeguards road. Well, I say road in the loosest possible terms. Um, well, it's going to be wetter now than it was walking here. Um, so I'd rather, I think to be honest, if it walk back, I think I'd rather take the slightly longer route. And if we walk on where the water's been, the sand's firm. We've just to watch out, watch for the road that leads to the right, so. I think that's what we'll do going back. I know it's slightly longer. It's been non-stop though, hasn't it? Yeah. I am knackered and I know, you know, you're, you're of the same vein there. I am exhausted. Yeah. To be honest, come I tired, I was ready to pack up and go home. <laughs> See, we could have escaped then, but we can't escape now for another half hour, depending on how quick it goes out. On that first cast though, to it target species and keepers on the first cast. I think that's astonishing that. And I know we showed it on camera, yours was the 2.2 pounds. Yeah. Mine, what did mine weigh, 1.8? 1.8, yeah. So, you know, really, really happy with, the, with those results. Really happy to hit target species straight away. Never happens for me. Never happens for me, that. Um, so, yeah. I'm yammering on, my rod tip is dancing a little bit. I'm going to leave it dance a little bit longer. I'm going to move you that side now and put you under the rod tip so you can see more sort of, of what's going on. The other drawback of the tide going so fast is you have to work hard because you, you, the water goes that quick that you have to recast and recast and recast um, just to make sure you, you're where you need to be. Uh, so yeah, don't forget, please do like, share and subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it via messenger, share it, you know, write the URL on a rock and throw it, no, don't, don't throw it at somebody. Um, no, seriously, don't throw it at somebody. Um, cracking session. I've enjoyed every minute of it and I'm exhausted but I'd much rather be exhausted on a beach. I'm not slating the wall, I, I do enjoy the wall and I love its convenience. But I would, and I've said it time and time again, but I would much, I am much happier on a beach. It's harder work, it's more exhausting, but oh, it's just nicer in my opinion. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, definitely. Summit's up to itself. That's, that's going, get into it, oh it's gone silent, it's stopped, I'd check it anyway me. Anyway, yeah, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, it really helps me out, I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the subscribers, the subscribers have been doing some really weird things recently but you tend to find that when you have some time off like I have. 
sort of YouTube point that puts your channel on and not a blacklist but a watch list so if you subscribe and start going up they take them off you vet your channel and put them back on so um, yeah I've, 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 I've seen that happen uh, on the gardening channel during the downtime down season where not a lot's going on it's it's nothing new um, nothing new so yeah like share subscribe do all that good stuff it really does help me out uh, I've no comments to respond to. I have responded to them all in writing. Um, let me know. It's going to be neat tides next week. Let me know if you can think of some way you'd like me to fish on the East Coast. And if I can get there, I'll think about it. But the price of fuel, as everybody knows, has just gone boom. Oh, I've seen. I've seen. What's he got? A little ting? Not well, not so little ting. What we got before I uh, close out this voice section? It is a ting. No, it's, it's not got a bat. Oh, no, it's a ting. No. It's got teeth. Yeah. Not a bad size, that, to be fair. So the tings have moved in. The tings have moved in. That's not a bad size ting, that. Not a bad sized ting at all. It's no bad ting. <laughs> right guys, I'll pop you back on time lapse. Uh, I don't think Alf's gonna bring that over. I think he's gonna release it. I'll get it released. <sighs> Shall I? Tell you what, let's have a look at these rods before I, uh, before I put you back. So let's move you out here. Now that it's a bit safer with the tides. Oh put you out here make sure them rod tips are in shot and I'm going to bring them in and uh, am I? that blue ain't gone slack has it no it doesn't look like it what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce it Yeah, the ting's gone back. Oh, no, I'll bring that in. Feel a little bit of bouncing on it. Could have just been lead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on that. It's coming in. Did it go back okay? Yeah, that's what I like to wear.
Right, okay. Oh, right, that's it from us. Oh. Yeah, good night from me and it's good night from him. It's been a cracking session. Full of action, loads of stuff going on all the time. I likened it earlier in the video to sort of match fishing, there was that much going on. Um, you know, you could have been constantly, every two, every, for what? To start with, every five minutes you could have been striking if you were zealous enough, couldn't you? Yeah, um, You know, yes, you probably wouldn't have caught that much, but you genuinely, you could have been striking every five minutes, just absolutely ballistic. For the, for, for the flood, it was absolutely ballistic. Definitely quieting down on the ebb, the flatties and the, and the whiting moved in, um, but I'm still so over the moon. A for Alf has had a storming session. Uh, he's hit all four species tonight. He's had bass, whiting, codlin, and a flounder. Four species for him. He's, he's really hammered it tonight. And he's got probably four dinners in his bass. <laughs> Fill it that, and uh, yeah. There's probably a good four dinners for him in there. Uh, yeah. Let me know, actually, although I'm probably going to cook it in the next day, couple of days, so I probably, <laughs> by the time you've seen this video, I've probably already eaten it. Um, but let me know if you'd like me to do a, uh, a cooking video on how I'm, I'm going to cook the bass or how I do cook my bass. I love it, it's just simple, but... You know, I know a lot of people do like to see how other people do it, so let me know in the comments oh. what you done, what you lost. Oh, it's good. Okay, what did you think you'd lost? What? No, it's all here. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Palpitations there. Right, I'm going to sign off because we could rant because I'm I'm that hyped up, I'll just keep talking. So I'm going to call it a night. Stay safe, tight lines. Do heed my warning about this mark. Don't come on your own until you're really familiar with it. Um, or come with somebody who knows it, preferably. And if you've never fished it before, don't come at night. Come in the day. It really is a treacherous mark. It really is difficult to get off from, let alone get on tour. Um, so please, please, please stay safe in tight lines. Until next time. Have a good one.